Every month, Justin gives us 45 chips for the month, and so everything that we need, we have to choose wisely. No, no, y'all tripping. You hustling your mama and, and your brother? What up guys? What's going on? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be checking out an extreme cheapskate video. This one's titled Family Forced to Wash Using Hand Sanitizer Mixed into Water Bottles. Now I know before COVID people were kind of in a frenzy to get their hands on, you know, some products. But to do that to hand sanitizer is another level. Just desperate. Now personally, I haven't seen this one. I've been getting a lot of comments saying like, I could have sworn I saw this video two weeks ago. No, you didn't because I never made it. It did not exist. But I figured we could slip this one into the collection of cheapness so hopefully you guys enjoy nonetheless you will you will I know you will <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah yeah oh no yeah I can talk to them right now actually definitely appreciate the call all right Jim see you later slight change of plans um actually before we get started with this video um Let's have a quick word from today's sponsors. I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. So these are the Everyday E25 earbuds. It has a new compact design and it makes it very, very easy to take on the go. So these earbuds actually come with up to six hours of playtime on just one single charge. I truly do love these things. Not only are they mobile and compact, but you can literally recharge the same earbuds up to four times. There's like four dots on the bottom. You can charge it up to four times before you ever even have to recharge the entire case, which truly comes in handy. They're noise isolating. They also come with seamless Bluetooth pairing. So the second they leave this charging capsule, they're already being connected by the time they actually hit your ear. They don't slide in and out of your ear and you won't constantly catch yourself having to readjust them in order for them to feel comfortable for you. I've honestly been using these for quite some time now and these are honestly one of the best earbuds that I truly believe hold to its name. Also to mention, they're a lot more affordable than a lot of other top leading brands. Co-founded by Ray J, Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of different colors and patterns. They're comfortable and they come in a great variety of different fit options, the no dangling wires or stems. Raycon also has a 45 day free return policy. I mean, summer's right around the corner, so if you guys are genuinely in the market to look for some good earbuds that you could take on vacation, a road trip, I don't know if you wanna sit under a tree, I I'm not too sure what you guys enjoy. You can go just about anywhere with these and they will still remain very convenient for its usage. You can grab a pair of these bad boys right now for up to 15% off your order by going to buyraycon.com forward slash LOL Jason. Or you could just click my link in the description box below. Again, that's buyraycon.com forward slash LOL Jason. Thank you, Raycon. You guys are truly the best. And thank you all at home for watching. Truly, truly appreciate it. All right, now let's get back to the video. Remember, if you guys end up enjoying this video, to drop a like, it helps this channel out so, so much. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram at LOLJason, Twitter, YouTube, or we're on YouTube, damn. All of my other links will be in the description, so hopefully you guys get a chance to check those out. Besides that, let's get right into the video. What's up, man? Oh, my brother Justin uses free guest passes with my membership. Free guest passes are for people that actually want to go to the gym to use. Thief attempt number one. Now, I'm not gonna lie, let me stop. I've definitely done that before. Like, it's a gym pass. So it's like, if you have a free guest, free, keyword is free. That's our trigger word of the day. You could just go in there and then use it. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm, I honestly don't have time to sit up here and it, bro, there's nothing to complain about. I don't go to work out. Everyone knows that. So just to get the free stuff. The gym is awesome. Every time I go to the gym, uh, I use the towels, take some clean ones, drop off the dirty ones. I mean, you can't beat it. <laughs> So you're stealing, all right, all right. We've, we've came across some thieves here and there, but you're stealing the towels. Like imagine going there, stealing weights, going home and working out with them and then bringing them back and then trading them for a lighter set of weight. Like you're still leaving the property with the, I don't care if they're rags, towels, a pencil, you stole it, somebody was that pressed, you could have got the cops called on you. That's crazy, bro, he's just jumping off towels. Like he also just mentioned he doesn't even go there to work out. So you're going there just to replace the towels, and then maybe you get a quick showers and then just leave? Oh, I hope there's not one of them surprise makeover episodes and they take one of the families and, y'all don't know what I'm talking about, it don't matter, okay. Gotta return, I don't steal, <laughs> you know. I'd consider it borrowing for the most part. That's what I would consider it borrowing. <laughs> the confidence, bro. Why they put my mans in the fattest library, not reading one book, you sit up here looking sophisticated, but you trade the towels and don't even work out at the gym. You just go there to steal towels and go back to your house. That's a little backwards. <laughs> I use the gym shower when I go in there, I do my laundry, which is also an excellent perk by the gym. Ah, spoke too early. You keep making those faces for. Now, 
Oh my gosh. When you take showers at the gym, uh, not to say there's a limit, but there's multiple people in the in the same locker room. So hopefully they're not waiting on you to do this. Because if you're doing your laundry, laundry sounds like a, a heavy load, not just a t-shirt. Then we're using hand soap to what? It, the armpit still musty. Let's be honest. You stink. You went up in the gym stinking and stunk up with your, washing your soiled ass clothes. It's a little too early for this. This is. A hundred million times better than a washing machine. The more effective you get the hands in there. Because washing machine only gets so much. You yourself can get in there like the old days. You see? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> It's just ridiculous how people at the waist, people don't know how they can save money. Nah, just imagine the camera crew. <laughs> imagine this man just taking a shower talking about how he uses this gym to do his laundry and you just finished your workout and you go in there and they're just... This is a good saying. I didn't sign up for that shit. That's weird. Make any sense to do laundry at <laughs> But you can do it here for free. I've unplugged the washing machine and dryer a long time ago. I saved my family about $7,500 a month, around that, roughly. <laughs> Bro, he's just stealing. This is what you call stealing. He's just shoving it up there, trying to get some hand sanitizer. It don't matter what it is, it's still stealing. Then you got all these normal gym folk just looking at you confused because they're like working out and here you are filling up an entire plastic water bottle full of hand sanitizer after you just finished showering without a workout and did your entire laundry load in the gym shower using hand soap. But again, let me be devil's advocate and remember that hey, every, everybody's different. Maybe this does really help him out. We don't know too well, but he seems mad confident in the stuff he's doing. So I'm not gonna lie, you're on your own. He got hand sanitizer everywhere. The hospital. Going by so far is ridiculous. <laughs> 29 year old Justin Woodhouse lives in Detroit with his mother and brother. Although he is currently looking for a full time job in sales, he still works occasional odd jobs to help pay the household expenses. So, looking for a sales job, lives with mom and brother, is still able to cover rent. But he just came home with free hand sanitizer, bare minimum sanitized clothes, and a shower without working out. Today's gone great, guys. I became conscious about saving money a couple years back as my mom cut me off of my allowance. Hey, honey. Yeah, all, right. all right, how you feel? No, 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 rewind. A couple of years back, he looks probably like, I'd give him like 29. Boy, if you don't- She cut you off a few years back by a few years? I would assume you meant like, maybe like four years ago. It's soon, like it just happened. So if he's that old, bro, your mother was still giving you allowance? I wish, I wish. It's crazy, bro, like. When Justin first started saving, he only did little things like coupons and looking up sales in the newspaper. Once I started saving money, I wanted to see how deep I can go with saving money. How deep? He can go, yeah, he's saying it for himself. He sunk, he sunk in it, he can't get out. Every addiction starts slowly, right? <laughs> you, you, you have you have the starting point where you essentially are just testing the waters. Then you level up and start, you know, doing some risky business. Maybe, you know, you starved yourself for four days, save a couple hundred bucks, see what happens. And you know, the final stages, you know, you cutting other family members off, you starving your kids. No, I never use a dryer, too much electricity. Yeah, saving became like a challenge just to see like how much more I could save. Like it just came like a, a addiction, you know. Over time, just his need to save money just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, let's be fair though. Hanging your clothes on a clothing line isn't like a bad thing. Like it's not like a style or anything. People still do that to this day. So I mean, eh, that's like reasonable. I'm not gonna necessarily put it past him. But let's let's see what else, uh, what other mess he gets himself into. I'm scared. <laughs> I have no idea how Justin got to this point at all. I started looking for a job about a month ago. I would never spend money on a, a on a new suit for a job interview. I got plenty of hand-me-downs down here somewhere. And my grandfather probably got one down here somewhere. Justin doesn't want to buy a suit, so he has to wear one of my suits. I'm bigger than him. This is not going to look right. I mean, I can't lie. If I'm being heavily honest as of now, they're not that bad. Like, they're not too bad. Um, I mean, like, bro, come on. If you're black, you already know what you got to go through. You you got to set yourself up to win. If this was a way that he realistically, at this time in his life, needs 
to do in order to save money. Give her sign me up. Like, okay, the gym thing is a bit odd, but like, is it really bothering anybody? It's not unsanitary necessarily. I, I don't know. Stole the towels, hand sanitizer, getting the suit, hanging his clothes, drying on like the the dryer rack or whatever. Like he's just, it's, it's not bad, it seems normal. The alterations for a man's suit could probably be anywhere from 60 to $100, which is... <laughs> it's just his attitude towards it, like, it's all these little like grunts and shrugs, like, we get it. You've been enlightened to the to the extreme cheapskate world of don't spend a dime. But come on, bro, he's getting interviewed, sharing how his life works, like what he does in a day. And then every five seconds, you're just getting these small, unnecessary smirks and just chuckles and sounds. <laughs> you think I'm paying $75 for a suit? Gummy. Nope, I'm not doing that. I don't think it's a problem at all that, you know, I'm not spending any money to get hand sanitizer. If I can go to the gym and get it, my damn self, I'm doing it. I'm damn near gonna hop on it late on the trends. That's sad. Oh, wow. Thank you. Mm. Huh? Okay. Who needs fancy alterations when you got your mom and a couple safety pins? It's pinning up a little bit for me. I think Justin would stop being cheap when he finds a good job. I'd be able to tuck it in a little bit on the side. I, I can agree, because that suit did look a little loose. Pins going to fall down the second he sit down at the interview. They're going to be like, nope. I need toothpaste, tissue, and a towel. OK. <laughs> My brother, he thinks he's saving his money by taking everything in the house, locking it away, and we have to take poker chips and exchange it for goods. <laughs> now it just got a little interesting. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Please don't tell me this man is sitting up here in a house that he shares with both his mother and his brother. I would assume it's his mom's house. Like, who else's house is it? And he's charging them poker chips in order to get items for four stand table. <laughs> that gotta be the most bogus. That has to be the most messed up thing you can do to <laughs> Bro, and your mom's letting you, is she just folding? Like, imagine she's taking a poop or whatever. She's like, honey, I need, um, can you give me toilet paper, two chips? Either that, or you're gonna have a saggy ass for the rest of the day. I need two chips. Would have been kicked out. That's insane. We don't waste anything, right? And this is how we keep track of it. It's the perfect way to do it. I can't see no better way. Every month, Justin gives us 45 chips for the month. And so everything that we need, we have to choose wisely. Nah, nah, y'all tripping. You hustling your mama? And your brother? It's not hu that's not human, bro. That's you little evil for that. That's weird. And even with that table full of miscellaneous objects, there's nothing of significance because it's not like you're probably gonna get a whole thing. He's still gonna be cheap with these, like say, say if it was toothpaste or like a graham cracker. <laughs> the graham cracker's getting broken and the toothpaste is going in some even tinier compartment to go on one tooth. Like, is it dumb? I, I know I'm not tripping. It's Wow. Oh, wow. You know, toothpaste. Go ahead and get a quarter size glob, one chip. That's it. That should last you at least three days right there. <laughs> Bro, he's doing this shit right in front of my eyes. Are you shitting me? One chip, mouthwash, you know? It is what it is. If you use this right, it shouldn't have a problem. After those 45 chips are gone, they're gone. So you're gonna starve or you're not gonna be sanitized because he's hoarding the the remaining objects. Objects, items. Then you gotta pay for them. Bro, I did I did some shit like that in fourth grade. I kid you not. My teacher would give us like bucks and they were like monopoly type money or something. And if we collected a certain amount, we can get a pizza party and all that. But we survived. We still got lunch, recess, we got to go home to our families. This man at the crib starving his mama, his brother, over some poker chips. How about this? Go to the go gambling and triple your profit. Like, it's just, it's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> Watch him go to sleep. I'm grabbing the whole table. That's stupid as hell. One particular month, I needed Q-tips, and he would not give them to me because I didn't have enough chips left. You're laughing. What'd you do about it? So, son. Just the thought of saying no to my mom over the fact that I'm trying to save money in their house. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Are you kidding me? She could have just taken it anyway. Like, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure that his mom has a job. His brother has some sort of job. Just because he's trying to, you know, step it up a bit. Don't mean the whole house got to suffer. You can kill somebody doing that. Did you guys know that? You can die from stress. If your stress level gets a little too high, drop dead. It has nothing to do with me, that's crazy. And his mom was sitting up there laughing, that's a new tactic he didn't tap into. Some weird spiritual shit, that's, I don't wanna touch it. This is working pretty good, I mean, my mom and my brother really not, really not uh, feeling it too much, but um. I think the system that Justin has is a cost savings, 
but it's actually a nuisance. Is it in his room? Wait, 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 wait. It's in his room, so they have to go. Hell no. I hate going to him and asking him to use some. You with a poker chip. I hate it. I do not care what my brother and mother think about the chip system or anything. It's, it's helping us out a lot. No, sir. I probably think it's helping you out a lot. You're scamming them. You're scamming them, bruh. If the poker chips are real, you know what to do. <laughs> Cha ching. You, you might have to sell it out and, and go up there and gamble it. Imagine if I was down bad. Like, I, bro, I don't even care. I'm pausing it. To, this shit's important as hell. Imagine if I was down bad, y'all. You know? And I made a video. I'm like, hey, guys, uh, shit, you know? Like, it's. I'm going through it, blah, da, 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 da. And then behind the scenes, I turn the camera off and I gotta go to like my cousin or something in a room and be like, hey, bro, I got two chips left. Can I get, can I get a graham cracker? Can I get a cookie or something, bro? I ain't eating in, in, in four days. And he break off the graham cracker and she be like, all right. He said if the chips are gone, they're gone. So he's gonna let me die? Arrest this man. Arrest him. Not only are the household goods on lockdown, the water's on lockdown also. Every other day I come fill up the water bottles at the nearby park, fill up the water we use for the house. I mean, we pay city taxes, so why not get water from the city park? Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys, it's getting worse. An entire bucket from the park water? But it's well water. I mean, it's not nasty. I used to drink out of a water hose when I was little. Like, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Please don't. I hope you guys don't. Like, when I overreact and shit, do not take it that literally. But I damn near be upset, but it's whatever. It's, I don't care. I feel like the park, I'm sorry, I, I just, I gotta let you, I feel like the park is one of the most gutter, grimy ass places on this earth. You know how many relations people probably had in those bathrooms? You know how many people probably threw up on the sink? You never know what goes down and I don't wanna be there to find out. So yeah, I get it, He, you pay city taxes. Oh yeah, of course you have to do that, but to drink their water, slob and spit, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> Justin will go in zero degree weather and go fetch water from the park if it's not frozen. He'd come back and melt it probably. The average water bill for a three person household in Detroit is around seven five dollars a month by using water from the nearby park justin's family pays less than half that justin removed all the shower heads duct tape all the water faucets in the house nah 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 now you just stopping me from showering at my house i'm not gonna drive all the way to the gym just to shower at that point if i was that desperate i could soak in the rain as well uh, 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 i'll still be alive you put duct tape over the faucet in your mother's house it's a sign up for an ass whooping. I'm surprised it didn't happen. I don't care how old you are. Are you kidding me? She could beat your ass. And this lady has not said a thing. She's probably had, what, three, four quick, you know, cut-ins. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> my honey's looking, you know, my, my son's looking for a job, but it's okay. You know, I'm sure if he gets a job, he'll, he'll be straight. But he cut off your water. You paying two coins for a Lay's chip. I'm not doing that. Now, I, I honestly could not care less how anybody feels with everything that I'm seeing right now. But please don't tell me that you would not get an attitude, right? If you came in the house and that bitch was duct taped. <laughs> Imagine if he duct taped the toilet. You can't boo boo. You can't do none of that. You can't shower. You can't you will put some water in a bowl to make you a little cup of noodles or something. Like, you're going to die. <laughs> I'll give you like four or five days in the house. You're going to perish. And whose fault will that be? Yours, because I would have ripped the duct tape off. Again, it's, I'm, I'm not doing it. So I definitely love a supportive family, but I don't think they all the way supportive. Because bitch, what I look like uh, walking in the house and not knowing if I'm gonna die that day or not. Do something else. We have to use water bottles. We don't use that. This wastes way too much money. This is the most effective way to do this right here. That's soapy water, you got your rinsey water. Justin's bottled water system is a joke. Justin has made uh, bottles of water and put a little sanitizer in the water bottles. This does not work. The soap substitutes do not work. I'm sure they don't work. So the sanitizer he's taking from the gym, he's pouring and just, you're wasting it in water. I mean, it's not gonna go on my body. Hopefully that, I'm sure that will sting. I mean, it's diluted a little bit, but not enough. A soap alternative? So I'm assuming this has to be for when they take showers at the house. <laughs> showers, house. At this point, is the house even real? So does Justin's mom and brother, like, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if they had to like sneak off to a relative's house or something like, oh, that boy's crazy. Let me take a shower real quick, ha ha ha. Like, and she just folding. Like, I don't know, I don't know, bro. It's, Remember earlier when I said you guys could die from stress? I meant it! I'm feeling that shit right now, and we're almost at the end. Golly! Soapy water. Rinse water. It's like, there's not enough water to rinse anything. Because I have refused to use this water method of Justin's, he's allowed me to take a bath. 
this red tape line that he's put in here, I have to use only use that amount of water. Oh, she screwed. I'm sorry. I damn near I don't even want to watch her no more. That's a damn shame. So he allowed his own mom to take a shower. I put a ring around the rosy in the tub. So now she can't even feel the water up to that height. Have you guys ever heard of it? Because I didn't. Today's the first day, day one. Yeah, I've never personally seen it like this. I promise, I promise all of you. When the video first started off, I thought it was like, oh, okay. Like, it's laughable, but it was reasonable. Then he started scamming, so, you know, it kind of went downhill. But that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. You guys are the best. I appreciate it. And again, I appreciate all of you for always liking, commenting, Commenting, watching all my videos. I love you guys to death, and I do not know where I would be without all of you supporting me. So thank you. Again, if any of you want to check out my social media, you always can. Links in the description, or you can just follow right here. And yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. This one was actually pretty interesting. I this this was funny. But that's gonna be it for me. Love you guys a lot. See you in the next video. Peace out.